Okay guys, don't pay any attention to my messy desk. I'm just doing this as a short little tutorial since I've gotten so many responses um, to me posting my little test runs. Um, so the first thing you want to do is install AstroPad on your iPad and on your Mac. Um, once you do that, it's going to actually walk you through all the connectivity, how to get them working together. You can do it wirelessly or you can do it um, with a cord that comes with the iPad. Um, so once you get both things, um, once you get AstroPad installed on both of your devices, all you're going to do is come in and open them up. It is wanting me to open it on my iPad. It's telling me to do that. So if I come over here, it's I've already connected everything, so it's going to automatically pop up. So now I can see on my iPad what is on my screen. So let's go ahead and just click OK. Alright, so this is my working space for my iPad. I'm going to come down here and open Photoshop. Now you can see that Photoshop is really tiny. So all you're going to do is just drag it to fill your entire workspace. That way you take advantage of the size of the iPad you got. So I like it filled top to bottom, left to right, all the way through. That way I don't have to come back over and touch anything again. So that is it. So I can leave my mouse alone. I'm going to just use my pencil, my fingers, and my keyboard. So the way it works basically is um, let's just go into a brush. I'm going to hit B on my keyboard or you can come over here to your um, little workspace and you can set this up however you want. So it can say brush, it can say um, stamp tool, whatever you want. It can increase, decrease your brush sizes, zoom in, zoom out. Um, I don't really use this because I use my keyboard shortcuts that I have and it's just how I'm programmed. But you know, anything you want to touch, you can keep this open. I just keep mine closed. And the other cool thing is you can hold it down and move it wherever you want so you can put it wherever it's convenient for you. I just kind of keep it out of the way a little bit. Um, so cool things, um, let's see, so gestures, you can use your fingers and you can customize these as you want to, but the one that I use the most is um, to zoom in and zoom out and to move my image around. So I'll even just keep my pencil in my hand and I'll zoom and I can move and this will do 400 times zoom, which is really cool because, you know, that's just amazing to be able to get in that close. Then um, let's say that I want to take away this little stray hair right here. Um, I'm going to come into my spot healing brush tool. I can make my, I'm going to show it to you right here. I can make it as big or as little as I want. And then all I do is just come over here and draw right over the top of her little hair and it's magically gone. It is amazing. It works better than the mouse and it's it's so in tune with my screen. It's crazy how fast it works. There's no lag time or anything. Um, that is really it. Please email me if you have any questions. Be sure to pass the blog along if you wish to share it. Thanks so much.